Welcome to The Great Stories, the home of science, technology, and trends that shape the world. This is The Great Stories, and in this video, we uncover the mystery of the term Mach, what it truly represents, and why you should care. They said the sky tore open that day, not with thunder, but with speed. A silver jet screamed across the horizon, faster than sound itself. Windows rattled, birds scattered, and a farmer somewhere in Nevada looked up and whispered, what was that? That, my friend, was mock speed. But what if I told you mock speed isn't just about flying fast, it's about breaking reality as we know it. It's about time bending, air transforming, and physics surrendering to human ambition. And before the next few minutes are over, you'll not only understand max speed, you'll feel it. Right from your chest to the tip of your imagination. So no, this isn't clickbait. This is a journey into the invisible wall that guards the kingdom of the impossible, and we're going to crash right through it. Part one, the pain of the speed limit. Ever felt like the world moves too slowly? Emails take forever, pages load like they're wading through mud. But imagine this, what if nature itself had a built-in speed limit? Well, it does. And that limit is called the speed of sound, around 1,235 kilometers per hour at sea level. You go faster than that and you don't just move through air, you fight it. See, when a plane nears that speed, the air molecules in front of it can't get out of the way fast enough. They start to pile up, compress, and heat like invisible bricks forming a wall. And that wall? That's the sound barrier. For decades, pilots believed it was impossible to break. Engines would roar, wings would shake, and planes would literally fall apart mid-air. The sky wasn't blue anymore. It was a battlefield. So, who on earth thought they could beat nature's own limit? Part two, the day man fought the sky. October 14th, 1947, a man named Chuck Yeager climbs into a bright orange rocket plane. The Bell One, his ribs broken, his mission to fly faster than sound itself. The crew didn't think he'd come back. Even Yeager's wife had packed away his flight jacket just in case. At 42,000 feet, Yeager lit the rocket engine. The plane screamed, the air warped, and then boom, a thunderclap, but no storm. That was the first sonic boom in human history. Jaeger had just flown at Mach 1.06. He hadn't just broken a barrier, he'd rewritten physics. And that's where our story begins. Part three, wait, what does Mach even mean? All right, let's finally unravel the mystery. Mach isn't a random name, it's a tribute to Ernst Mach, an Austrian physicist from the 19th century. He studied how sound waves move and what happens when something moves faster than them. So when we say Mach 1, we mean you're moving at the speed of sound. Mach 2, twice the speed of sound. Mach 3, three times faster. So fast you could fly from New York to London in under an hour. And here's where it gets wild. Mach isn't a fixed number. It changes depending on the air's temperature and density. That means Mach 1 on a cold mountain isn't the same as Mach 1 above a warm ocean. The faster you go, the weirder things get. Air becomes fire, sound becomes shock, and you become a blur in the sky. But what does it feel like to move at Mach speed? Part four, inside the dragon's breath. Imagine sitting in a jet that's slicing the sky at Mach 2. You can't hear the engines because the sound you're making can't even catch up to you. Outside, the air compresses into glowing shock waves. Your cockpit trembles like it's alive. Every surface heats up 500 degrees Fahrenheit or more. Metal starts to expand, groan, bend. At Mach 3, even the tiniest piece of dust could hit with the force of a bullet. That's why our aircraft like the SR-71 Blackbird were built out of titanium, not aluminum. It could cruise at Mach 3.3 comma at the edge of space, so high that pilots could see the curvature of Earth below and the endless darkness above. They called it riding the thunder. Now imagine this. The SR-71 flew from Los Angeles to Washington, D.C. in 64 minutes, a flight that usually takes five hours. That's Mach. That's power. That's poetry in motion. Part five, the hidden cost of speed. But there's a catch. Every time you chase Mach, you pay a price. For one, it's deadly expensive. 
to go twice the speed of sound, you need exponential amounts of fuel. Air friction heats the craft to near melting temperatures, and one small miscalculation, catastrophic. NASA's experimental X-15 once flew at Mach 6.7. It touched 4,500 miles per hour, six times the speed of sound, but it was so dangerous that one wrong pitch angle could tear the aircraft apart like paper. So yes, match speed is glorious, but it's also unforgiving. Yet, humans never stop there, do they? Because the moment we conquer one frontier, we build another. Part six, supersonic versus hypersonic, the new race. Here's where it gets fun. Mach speed isn't just one realm, it's an entire spectrum. Subsonic below Mach one, where commercial jets like Boeing 747S live. Supersonic, Mach one to Mach five, that's your fighter jets in Concorde. Hypersonic, Mach 5 and beyond. That's the realm of science fiction, becoming science fact. China, the US, and Russia are now in a silent race for hypersonic dominance. Weapons, gliders, even passenger concepts that could reach Mach 10. At that speed, you could fly from New York to Tokyo in under one hour. Just think about that. Dinner in Manhattan, dessert in Shibuya, the future might sound far away, but so did Mach 1 in 1947. And here's a question for you. If you could travel at Mach speed, where's the first place you'd go? Comment below. I'm genuinely curious to see your answers. Part seven, the sound of speed. You probably heard Mach speed without realizing it. That sharp crack in the sky, that's a sonic boom. When something breaks the sound barrier, it leaves behind a cone-shaped wave of compressed air. That wave bursts outward, a mini explosion in the sky. But what's fascinating is, to the pilot, there's no boom at all. They never hear it. It's only the people below, the witnesses who experience the thunder of the impossible. It's almost poetic, isn't it? The ones chasing greatness never hear their own applause, but we do. Part eight, the real secret of Mach speed. Here's where things get personal because Mach speed isn't just physics, it's a philosophy. Every great invention, every breakthrough, it all starts at subsonic, slow, careful, hesitant. Then it accelerates, doubts pile up, resistance build, that's your sound barrier. The critics, the fear, the friction. And then there, there's a moment of clarity, a decision to push harder, faster. And when you do, boom, you break through. Every artist, entrepreneur, scientist, every dreamer hits mock speed at least once in their life. It's the moment when everything changes, when the noise behind you can't keep up anymore. That's not just flight, that's freedom. Part nine, why this matters to you. So why should you care about mock speed? Because it's not about planes, it's about potential. Mach speed is a reminder that nature's limits are often just delusions waiting to be rewritten. That walls exist not to stop you, but to challenge you. Whether you're building a business, learning a skill, or chasing a dream, you'll hit your own sound barrier. But remember what happens after the turbulence, silence, clarity, acceleration. That's your personal mock moment. Part 10, the finale, beyond the boom. From Chuck Yeager's trembling rocket plane to the Blackbird's burning wings to the future hypersonic ships that might cross continents in minutes, Mach speed is more than numbers. It's the pulse of progress, the heartbeat of human courage. So next time you hear a sonic boom, don't just think of a jet. Think of humanity whispering, we did it again. And if this journey gave you chills, if you felt that rush of curiosity, drop a comment below with one word, boom. Let's see how many dreamers we've got out there. Because in the end, the sky isn't the limit. It's just Mach 1. You've just traveled through time, science, and the edge of imagination. Now you know what Mach speed really is, not just in numbers, but in spirit. If you enjoyed the ride, hit that like button, subscribe for more stories like this, and remember, the future doesn't wait for permission. It waits for acceleration. See ya at Mach 2.